Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, what's happening, what's good? So you guys, I ran into this video and it's called, um, the person name is Off The Curb Ministry. And the video is very interesting. So we are about to look at this video. It's still talking about God, okay? But it's also talking about Doja Cat. Y'all know I got a couple of Doja Cat stuff um music that i had listened to and all that kind of stuff so yeah you guys we're about to check this out okay y'all ready let's get it look very closely at doja cat's eyes because she is trying to tell us something and i was not expecting it i like you was super confused at what happened to doja cat overnight so i spent hours and hours researching her and then suddenly I saw it. Yeah. So let me present Doja all so the facts pretty. before you and let's see if we both reach the that same conclusion. The one thing first. is clear about Doja Cat. Oh, Even from day up. one, she was hungry for attention. In her teenage years, she would do and say crazy things to people on online communities just to get a few more views. At age 16, she drops out of school to produce her first track, which puts her on the map. However, for reasons unknown, she went silent for years. But when she came back, she became world famous for the weirdest reason. It was a quiet live stream with only 60 viewers when Doja decided to perform an unusual meme-like song called Moo. And by just pretending to be a cow, she went viral in days and her name was brought back into the public eye. Doja then had a choice. She either continued to clown around on the internet or she could recreate her image to propel her into the mainstream. Doja I saw this video. and followed in the footsteps of Nicki Minaj, Cardi B and produced very girly music in pink and of course acting in a certain way that would attract a male audience. It's no secret that during this time Doja Cat made some very bad decisions. To begin with she started to date a Twitch streamer who'd been in all kinds of trouble and then there was a time where it felt like every single time she went on video it was to apologize for old tweets she'd made and yet she didn't seem sorry it just seemed like she was fearful of being cancelled. But worst of all, there was a point where she began to argue and even mock her fans on social media. To the point where she lost she millions of followers it. and her kittens, as they had been referred that back and to, forth felt with cheated. Herself. Like they are the ones who had made her famous and yet Doja was proving to them that she didn't care about even one of them. Okay, it's time I introduce to you the part where something big went wrong in Doja Cat's mind. Take a look at this. This is a statue of Asherah, an ancient Canaanite idol who is well known for leading the people of God away from the Lord and to herself to be worshipped. Now, do you notice that symbol above her head and also how she is holding weighing scales? So compare that to Doja Cat's outfit. Guys, I really do want to remember this, that Asherah is the one who led the people away from the Lord. Because when I reveal to you who I think Doja Cat is imitating from the Bible, it will all start to make sense. I severely underestimated just how dark things would get the deeper I delved into Doja Cat's life. For instance, I want you to imagine your favourite birthday cake. This is my birthday cake on my 30th birthday. Okay, so picture one of your favorite cakes and then contrast it to Doja Cat's 27th birthday cake. And did you know this? It the don't number look 27 oh, look in the eye. spiritual world represents a new era, I don't know what that sign a new is. awakening of your mind to spiritual things. And it's often dark spiritual things. Was that here's six another candles? piece of the... And did you know this? The one, number 27 two, three, in the five. spiritual world Represents I think six candles. One of the candles era, is in the back. Can't a new awakening it? of your mind to spiritual things. And it's often dark spiritual things. But here's another piece of the Doja Cat puzzle. In January 2023, she arrived at the Paris Fashion Week dressed in 30,000 crimson red crystals. Now just remember this because I'm going to return to it a little later. But for now, here's a clue. Oh, for those of you who know your Bibles, that. I think you're starting to piece it together. But this person who I believe Doja Cat is imitating is in the last book of the Bible. And if you want to see some more videos all about that last book, they're coming very soon. So please do make sure you subscribe. 
It is almost unbelievable what Doja Cat did next. She produced two incredibly dark songs, which is why so many of you wrote to me and said, when are you going to make this video about Doja Cat? One of her songs messed around with spiritual things in such a way that the top comments, which had over 100,000 likes, read this. Thanks, Doja, for reminding me to pray dad, every night. In fact, despite Doja's best efforts to mock Christianity and God in her music videos, it actually instantly did the complete opposite. Many others, including unbelievers, said that her songs were the reason why they had started to seek God, and they were so put Good. off by Doja's sin that they wanted to know more Good. about the light of Christ because <laughs> they really did not oh, like the dark that message that Doja was preaching. I'm going to show you right now the music video that, that convinced video? me personally that Doja oh, Cat like, is oh imitating someone from the Bible. Probably she's just doing it for publicity, but it does prove a point to me that everyone should be very careful what music you listen to because the goal of the Prince of Darkness is to use the music world because he was the chief musician in heaven. His goal is to lead millions of people through the music world away from the light of Christ and into the kingdom of darkness. In August 2023, Doja Cat released a song, Paint the Town Red. The song opens with her appearing to mock, you know those famous words by Jesus Christ on the Sermon of the Mount, if your eye causes you to sin. But on the other hand, however, it could actually just be her releasing more imagery like we saw at her 27th birthday party. Regardless of what Doja was trying to portray there, I am certain that the next scene is her imitating a famous person in scripture. The camera zooms in on Doja Cat cuddling up to death and she is dressed totally in red or dare I say scarlet. Okay now watch this. The scene changes to Doja Cat surfing or riding on what only can be described as a beast. Ooh, Are you now yep. starting to catch my drift? Well what happens if I read this to you. The Bible says, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which is full of names. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls. Crazy. I mean, it feels like I am covered in stones. Okay, guys, I hold up my hands and I say, I probably have gone off the curve. Here. I know that, you know that. But the truth is this, could it be, could it be possible that Doja Cat is trying to recreate similar imagery here? Of course I don't believe she is the actual woman described in chapter 17, but I do find it curious that she dressed herself in these fine precious stones, just like the woman we've read about in chapter 17. I do find it curious that she dressed totally in red, in crimson, in scarlet, just like this woman we've read about in scripture. I do find it curious that she is standing on top of a beast. Now the scripture says that this woman she'll be sitting on the beast but at the same time I do find that interesting. But perhaps worst of all it says about this woman in Revelation 17 that she will be merry. She will have gone crazy over the fact that she is the reason why many saints of Christ are no longer here. May I go deeper? The scripture actually warns us that this woman will sit on many waters and she will have made many kings, many of the inhabitants of the earth, merry with her sin. In other words, she is everywhere. She's on all corners of the earth and she is defeating many strong men, not through strength, but through her beauty. The Bible says, her feet go down Ooh. to death, her steps lay hold of hell. And the same writer who wrote this also goes on to say, and I'm paraphrasing now, but he says, all those who were taken out by her were very strong men. Oh dear friends, this is not a warning just for men, but this is for men and women alike. You see, the Prince of Darkness will do everything he can to draw you away from the light. He will dangle every piece of bait in front of you to trap you in his invisible net. Some of you, let's be honest, you are dazzled by the things of this world. Some of you, you are chasing wrong things. And some of you who can hear my voice don't realize that these things will be the very things that send you to hell. Some of you, you are religious, but you are righteous. 
What do you mean, Joe? Doesn't the Bible say there is none who is righteous, no, not one? You're right. Scripture does say that. But I'm talking about a righteous that does not come from any man, except for the God-man, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, did you know, can give you his righteousness as a gift. And that righteousness will save you from the fires of hell. The Bible says... It's For he Bible, made though. him who knew no the sin, Bible that's talking says. about Jesus, to be sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Guys, we've got to get this because this is super important. Religion will not save you. And Doja Cat is evidence of this. Have you noticed that very often you will see Doja Cat wearing a cross around her neck? Now, please don't misunderstand me. I have friends who wear crosses around their neck and I think it's a wonderful thing if people want to wear a cross around their neck as a reminder of who Jesus Christ is. Some preachers perhaps will disagree with me on this. That's okay. I personally don't have a problem with it. As long as everyone remembers this one key fact, wearing a cross around your neck does not save you. It's not like a lanyard that gets you into important buildings. God doesn't look at a cross around a person's neck and says, come on, welcome into heaven. No, the only thing that Look saves inside, a man or woman is if they have put their trust in the one who was on that cross. And hallelujah, he's not on that cross anymore. He died on that cross. He was buried, but on the third day, he rose from the dead, proving that the cross, death, none of it could hold him down because he is God in the flesh. So here's how it works. Here is how a person gets righteous. You see, when Jesus went to the cross, all of my sin, all of your sin, was put on him. It was laid on on him. I've said it often, but the worst of me and you was laid on the Lord Jesus Christ. And then for those who trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, the best of Christ, Christ's perfect track record, his life without sin, his righteousness can be attributed to me and you if we put our faith in him. It's almost as if God doesn't see Joe Kirby anymore and his lies and his mistakes and the horrible thoughts he thinks and all the wrong things I've done. He doesn't see Joe Kirby and his sin anymore, but because I've trusted the Lord Jesus Christ. He sees Christ. He sees the righteousness of Christ. It's like God has given us this garment of righteousness and now God sees me just like his son, totally righteous. And I want to tell you right now, whoever you are, if you've not yet trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ, you too can become righteous just like that. If you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you come to him in repentance and faith, I'm telling you right now, God will give you that righteousness, wash away all of your sins and give you a hope beyond the grave because Jesus Christ is risen. Would you like it? Well, call upon him right now and you'll have it instantly. Okay, okay. Maybe I am just making mountains out of molehills. Okay, I'm probably just being Joe Kirby again. You know that by now. But you've got to agree with me on one thing. This is a fantastic opportunity to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. People who wouldn't normally go into a church, people who wouldn't normally watch Christian videos, they're thinking about Doja Cat. So please do share this video if you do get opportunity. But right now, I do want to draw your attention back to one final thing. Some of you who've watched the music video, the really bad music video, and I wouldn't advise anyone to watch it, so please Please just listen to me when I do say this. But for those of you who've already watched it, you remember seeing this image at the beginning of the video. That is a famous oil painting from 1781, which is depicting something rather bad. Well, I actually made a full video all about what it is it. they're depicting. If you'd like to watch that, click I here. And just know it. I have changed my views a little bit since I've made this video, because it was over a year ago. And if you did find this video that you've just watched now, in any way helpful, please would you do a favour for me? Please do subscribe. I really would like to see you again. God bless you all and thank you for watching. So you guys, what y'all feel about that? I'm pretty sure y'all already watched it because it got so many views on here. But you guys, like I'm just saying, that's why I had to just kind of like be very careful about what I listen to now because it, it just rattles my spirit now. Like I got a couple of videos that I did do that I did not post. And like the way my spirit got rattled, I was like, oh wait, hold up now, I don't know. I didn't post it because I'm just like, I ain't trying to get chewed out by, you know, their fans and stuff like that. <clears throat> but that was when I, uh, that was before I had left and then came back. So if, I don't know if I, if I should post those 
those videos i actually really don't care now <laughs> now that i'm good in god's eyes you know because like i lingered off you know um and i'm happy that god is such a forgiving god and i'm trying to get back on track and you know that's why i'm just like i'm staying away from that stuff that's why on wednesdays we're going to be on this channel worshiping okay praising god okay because all this stuff that's out here with all of this stuff man 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 and it's so crazy because i watch so many of her videos you guys like i'm not gonna tell y'all to go watch them but i'm just saying like i got so many of her videos on this channel that i have watched and i'm just like man i read like me thinking back i remember when i'm just like oh that look cute oh 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 not even know that she over here sucking my soul out and you know feeding bad stuff inside my soul and stuff like that you know so that's why i'm just like i cannot do that music no more and like him he just really made me just like i'm really not about to go back doing that music for real because i'm just like my eyes are open now and i know i know god you know like i felt his presence i know he real so i'm just like no thank you no thank you people out here well i don't know if you can actually sell your soul or whatever you know how they just use that term everywhere very loosely like selling your soul and all that kind of stuff mm, i don't know i don't know about all that kind of extraness but um yeah you guys y'all know i'm still new to my journey because i was i was out there watching that stuff too you know so now i'm over here trying to be righteous you know you heard what he said we only can be righteous through god you know only god could give us that righteousness you know i don't stop smoking i don't stop drinking and like it's i'm not saying that things are easy trying to continue to stay righteous because you still gotta pray you still gotta dwell in god presence and you know just try your best to stay on the right track unless you want to mm -mm, no thank you i'm not going that way <laughs> no way i'm gonna try my best but yeah you know sometimes you do backsliding and stuff but god is a forgiving god and you just be like i'm sorry i'm trying to come back to you god because i do not want the enemy to come and get me no thank you so yeah you guys i actually really like this i haven't watched more of his things and but i am thinking about watching more of his things so you guys um let me know if i should watch more of his things i do like that it's about god uh, I will not be watching it on Wednesdays because Wednesdays we will be worshiping. But on other days, like Thursdays, I want it to be like, you know, Friday. I don't know. One of those days where y'all can just give me a request and I can just do like um, something that y'all request to me to watch. But yeah, you guys, stay tuned for Wednesdays. We worship. If y'all want, if y'all got some songs for me to listen to, godly songs, you know, biblical stuff, songs and stuff like that, let me know. If y'all want me to do other reactions like this and look at them and just be like, wow, educate myself because that's exactly what he did. Um, I want to do he got something about Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I want to do he got something about Nicki Minaj. Because <sighs> I got a lot of Nicki Minaj stuff on there, too. And, I, man, I loved her. Of course, I don't listen to her no more. But, man, I absolutely, I got, I think I got the most Nicki Minaj things and Lana Del Rey things. And I also do know that on Lana Del Rey album, um, she got a couple of God stuff on her stuff. Lana Del Rey never went too far away from God. Like when she was younger. Anyway, I don't want to get all back into all this extraness, you know, because it's just a reaction off of this. But yeah, you guys, if y'all have anything else, let me know. I really like this and I think that I might do more things like this. I don't know. I'm going wherever God tell me to go. If God put in my spirit to make me feel that it's okay for me to do, then I'm going to do it. If he said no, then no. Okay, you guys. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope y'all like this. I know I look crazy because I'm so tired. I decorated my bathroom and my kids. It's late. My husband just came home. Like, I'm just bummed out i'm tired so yeah you guys i really hope that y'all have a good night good day good morning whatever and yeah you guys god bless you guys <laughs> anyways y'all try to stay try y'all best to stay on the right path and pray okay because it's crazy out here all right okay y'all play